Hello my friends and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In our last video, we finally found the missing Nosferatu Barabbas and then at the end of the video, we made our way out to this fancy mansion to attend the Giovanni crime family reunion party, I think. <laughs> and we spent some time exploring and I want to continue to explore around a bit. I, I feel... I feel like I just want to do that. <laughs> so I think we talked to everybody in here. So um, how is Bruno doing? We talked to this girl. We talked to we talked to this guy, right? Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't we did, but apparently we don't want to talk to him that much. And we've talked to this guy over here. I think Excuse there was. Excuse me, Nicolas. <laughs> I feel like there were oh this guy over here and then this girl. So there are other corridors I want to explore. So let's, I guess, get started. I kind of have already started. I can't unlock that one. I'm having problems unlocking doors. I appreciate everyone's attendance here this night. It has been several years since I saw some of you. In that brief period of time, several events have seen this family fall from the good graces of the head of the family back in Italy. The American Giovanni have been through hard times, this is true. Fall of the stock market, poor investments in several once tried and true industries, the loss of many old and dear friends in Washington who served our best interests. But I promise you that after tonight, these unfortunate mishaps will all be forgiven. The Ankaran sarcophagus, you uh, may have heard about its theft on the news. The truth of the matter is it was taken on my orders. Why? It bears a great resemblance to an artifact said to contain the spirits of an entire kingdom wiped out during the time of the pharaohs. As I speak, the most accomplished of our family are preparing to harvest this bounty of souls, bringing the Giovanni family one step closer to the endless night we have toiled to bring about all these centuries. Once again, the American Giovanni are poised to make a grand return to a position of its feet. And to celebrate this momentous occasion, I have decided to embrace two of you and to allow you to choose one person at this party to bestow the proxy kiss upon. When the others return, we shall inform Italy of our accomplishments and commence with the embrace. Let this night be the beginning of a prosperous new century. And let us not forget to thank God for this opportunity it's provided to regain faith with our honored elders. Amen. I appreciate everyone's attendance here this night. Okay, now we're finally looping. I interesting, they have this sarcophagus. I can't get in there either, okay. Hmm, and I can't get in there. Can I get in there? Uh, let's lock pick in a minute. Now can I, there were doors up here. Can I get in any of these? Mm. There's no handle, so I'm guessing not. <laughs> mm. So can't get in that one. And I can't get in that one. And then I think, nope, nope. The, over here was the kitchen, right? There were several doors over here that I couldn't get into. Oh dear, I'm, I'm gonna have to beef up my lock picking skill, aren't I? Yeah, what's this guy? Okay, that's the, what is this? Oh, it's a swimming pool. Wow. That's a, it's an indoor swimming pool. That's, wow. That's amazing. Is there any like secret entrances or anything in here? Oh, there's a door over here. There's two doors. Oh, that probably goes outside. And where does this one go? Let's find out. Probably outside. Failed. <laughs> Not even like telling me how much I failed by. I just played out failed. All right, so let's see if we can unlock some of these other doors. Not that one. I don't need to unlock that one for any reason, I don't think. Um, I think I've kind of botched any persuasion that I have because I don't think I have enough of it because I'm just not choosing not to go that route. But let's close this door. Let's crouch. Let's save. And let's try to unlock this door. Please. 
Ugh, eight, but I can get up to eight. I can do that. Aha, and I see a sparkly as well. Is this the book? Bad monkey, no banana? What? Oh, it's, you need a research skill of at least eight. I, hmm, hmm. Uh, what on earth? Oh, a secret door. I was just kind of wandering around looking at stuff. That's convenient. <laughs> um, I hope the book is down here as well and not in one of those locked rooms. I imagine the sarcophagus must be down here. But let's crouch, cause... Okay, maybe not. Okay, now we're, now we're definitely outside of the party zone. What is this place? I'm eight. Okay, I can do that one too, but let's look around in here first. Oh, the Giovanni book. Is that the... Yes! The book I need for Pisha. Yes! <laughs> can I read that one? Voce del Morte by Vincetti Marcus Giovanni Consigliere. You've retrieved both the occultish items for P both occult items for Pisha. You should visit her visit her again. Oh my god, words are difficult today. Um What what is the uh, um, do I wanna uh, let's save. <laughs> like do I wanna unlock the door or pull the lever? Let's pull the lever. What, what where, where is it going? Oh, oh no, I didn't mean it. Oh, brains, brains, brains. Oh, I can also feed off them too, right? It means I gotta get close. Uh, let's trans one, and then punch. No, it's brainsing me! No! <laughs> oh no! I can't feed off him. Somebody said I could feed off these guys. Headshots, right? Dang it! I didn't actually mean to come down here like this. Oh wait, hang on. Is this the... Okay, it's the locked doors right here. It's just an alternative route to get down here. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I wanna... I don't think my... My bashing or brawling or something must not be high enough. Can I use my not so good weapon and one shot them? Cause that'd be better. Yes, I can. Oh. Um, do they just keep coming? What the heck? Uh. just keep coming. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, inventory, hang on. Oh my gosh, so many zombies. Salucept, a tidal chorus of whispers washes across your thoughts. They seem to be offering guidance, but their message eludes your conscious mind. Their motivations 
are unknown, but you find yourself increasingly willing to submit to their guidance. As long as you possess this salicept, you will gain an extra point of experience every time you are awarded three or more experience. Ew, that's convenient. Um, salicept may or may not have other effects. Um, I don't think it does right now. I'm going to use my stored blood and, oh gosh, get out of here. Holy crap. I hit him in the head. That'd be useful. I feel like they just kept coming. Okay, all we got left to get here is the sarcophagus. So that's all we need. Oh. <laughs> Load screens keep startling me a little bit. I don't know why. I'm so jittery today. Um. I'm gonna save here because this sounds like boss music usually. Let's get out my good gun. We're all reloaded. Blood strike. This is a really cre creepy basement. in this door. Okay, a ladder up, I guess, if you fall down. It's my zombie killing music from the graveyard. I remember this now. Okay, hang on. Please hold. I gotta switch guns. It's really slow in this game. Oh no, it won't let me out. Okay. <laughs> I just feel very pumped to like go kill zombies. <laughs> no, I hit you in the head. Seen so much stuff, but I just want to. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Which way do I go? Um. Uh, let's go this way. Tombs of Giovanni past. Maybe they shouldn't all be zombies, just putting it out there. Although, how do they become zombies? Because you would think that, and this is the tombs and crypts of old Giovanni, why, why, um... Why are they coming back to life? door out no okay all right I feel like I went the right way if I'm going to another place I must be going the way the, the white way white <laughs> kindred your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders leave now or face the consequences of your actions what what are you talking about? But let's just, let's discuss this problem, whatever it might be. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me, you two wire foo rejects? That's so awful, it's such. <laughs> there is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. 
If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Um, I've got to get a publicist. You two obviously aren't aware of my reputation. Uh, what alliance? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, what? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Um, I, nobody tells me what to do. Actually, a lot do, but, but here's where I get even. <laughs> you double dragon refugees. Oh, geez. Um, I have a mission. And I have to stay. The, the game is making me stay. Normally, I, as Caroline, would just be like, peace out, whatever. But I, 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 gotta, I got a job to do. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Okay. Sorry, but you won't get it. I didn't save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I saved now. All right. Uh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Oh. Died fast. Oh no, I'm dying now. Oh no. Okay. Gotta get out the gun <laughs> properly the first try. And uh and then blood strike. Okay, let's let's do that. Or not, I guess I just got out this now. that fight. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the ceiling. Uh, all right, let's see. You have found that the sarcophagus room in the Giovanni mansion and removed the last obstacle keeping you from bringing it back to the prince, okay? Uh, you've rescued the spy. Yeah, I know, I, I've, I've got these updates, game. You can mark them off. And then, okay. Let's uh, save here. I'd like to get my health back, but I feel like I'm semi-okay. Can I talk to Beckett? No. I guess I have to talk to the prince. My wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Hmm. If there's valuables inside, I think I deserve some. I don't know if I want anything in this sarcophagus. Can't we just go bury it again? <laughs> Nothing good has happened. <laughs> so before we go, I need an answer. Are you in an alliance with the Kuei Jin? What? Preposterous. No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. Uh, actually, I was told by the Quajin agents sent to steal the sarcophagus. And you believed them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Yeah, but... Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks. Rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. Hmm. I don't want to open the sarcophagus. <laughs> I don't believe him, actually.
actually. Um, but let's open this sarcophagus and see what happens. Oh, I feel like that's such a bad idea. I feel like it's such a bad idea. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Dune, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. <laughs> Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you, I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You, you and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Of course you do. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. <laughs> Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. <laughs> if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. <laughs> I love how he's throwing so much shade. It's Sebastian, was it? Who were you supposed to be again? Uh, you little young vampire. <laughs> Okay, so how do we open it? You heard LaCroix, let's just open it, get him off our back. So what do you think's inside? Got any dynamite? No, well, let's ask what he thinks is inside. Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. <laughs> hey, look, I know the holidays are soon, but let's be realistic. <laughs> All right, stupid question. <laughs> how do we open it? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. The guy on the historical network with the pith helmet, he makes learning fun. <laughs> oh, this game is great. So who? His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Okay, so why isn't he here? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. Mm. By who? Damn it! Why does everything have to be so difficult? <laughs> um, tell me he left some notes or a diagram or something. Well, let's ask the obvious. Who would take this guy? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. How? What? How did you... So what do we... You figured all that out from sniffing around his room? Um, let's go with the second one. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively <laughs> delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. <laughs> That's great, actually. So hunters have this guy. Why would hunters want an archaeologist to stop us from opening the sarcophagus? Because they probably think it will bring about the end of the world. Um... But let's go with that one. <laughs> the hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Hmm. Okay, the Society of Leopold? Who are, who are they? Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold <gasps> oh, some time okay. ago. They're so secret a church organization... I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. <laughs> so, how do we get him out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath, where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but <laughs> then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. 
of course, of course. Oh, I, I can't come with you. That would be one too many vampires. <laughs> so how, how do I get there? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly, Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Totally. Okay, I have a few questions before I go. Excellent. So anything else you can tell me about the Society of Leopold? The Society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. Powers? What powers? So, you spoke of Gehenna before. Think the sarcophagus is part of it? Um, I feel like I've asked it already, but let's ask it again. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, <laughs> then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. <laughs> Have you learned anything about the Thin Bloods? Anything else about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least, uneasy around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Okay, tell me about yourself. Again, I feel like I've asked some of these, but it's been long enough to where I've forgot. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Hmm. Like yourself, I consider myself somewhat of a scholar. Why the hell would you want to know about me? Why do you care? I don't know of any problem that can't be solved with violence. Well, she's a Tremere. She's bookish, right? Unfortunately, I have to deal with things through violence more often. But yeah, we could be a scholar, right? <laughs> I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? Not very. Then you wouldn't know that Dracula, the fictional vampire of movie fame, was very real. His real name was Vlad Tepes, and he was a jemisi, though he was not Sabat. By some accounts, he still lives into these nights. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Sweet, my uh, stats increased. But, um, all right, I think that's it. So I, do I have any more questions? Excellent. Um, Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Okay. Oh, good. I was scared I was going to go right there. <laughs> All right. Quest log first. So the epic of the Ankaran sarcophagus is finally completed. We've returned the Ar Ankaran sarcophagus to the prince. And our new quest, uh, Society for the Preservation of Professors. Beckett wants you to find Professor Johansson, who is being held by the Society of Leopold. You'll need to find a way to get inside and locate him. That's the guy from the news program as well. So, interesting. Let's see if I can talk to the prince. My game doesn't crash. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Okay, stop freaking out. <laughs> Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. <laughs> 500 bucks, that's not so bad. Which is? Okay, what do you know about the Kuei Jin? Traditionally, the Kuei Jin has stayed in Asian territory and the kindred Europe and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. And oh yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. Okay. Which is... What do you think's inside the sarcophagus? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. <laughs> As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. 
Now Beckett has waived his theory altogether. The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Antediluvian? A joke. <laughs> the antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain, the legendary first vampire. Cain? I, I feel like a lot of these today have been repeats, but it's, it's good for me to have it over and over again. I might actually remember it. <laughs> As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling, whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. Okay, I will. And I think that was everything question-wise, so let's head on out of here. Hi, Chunk. Uh, I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of P.O.'d. <laughs> Must be all the late nights he's working. Uh, anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. That's okay. Um, bye. I don't, I don't need to go talk to him anyway. I want to go and check in with Keisha and turn in my, the book that I found for her and see if I get some sort of shiny prize. I'm assuming I'm going to get some sort of shiny prize because I got one the last time. But you never know. I might get stiffed. <laughs> but we'll go talk to her. And then I want to go check my email. I want to check. I want to check several things. I want to try rechecking with people about stuff. But like, I'd like to go and talk to Ming Zhao. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not. But um, I still want to do it because... I don't believe Sebastian when he says he's not in league with uh, the her. Hi, Pisha. Yes. Here's that book you were looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Well, you know, never mind. <laughs> Just give me what you promised. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. I would really like to, but I can't. Um, I, I don't know why, but I'm just not noticing how pretty glowy her eyes are. It's really awesome. But what do you mean, Pisha? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I see. I'll, I'll take that in consideration. Bye. Ah, oh, okay. You have brought Pisha her occult items and received yours in return. Yeah, that reminds me. What is that? I received. Ooh. <laughs> I have all kinds of weird objects I'm carrying around with me. These wands have been carried by the feared assassin of Clan Asmite for millennia. Asmit? Whatever, it's fine. Uh, one of only a handful still in existence. This key of Alamut gives its owner extraordinary resilience to damage. Increases all soak ratings by one. Well, let's look at my character sheet. All right, I've got a bunch of points again. My soak. Bashing. Lethal. Aggravated. The ability to shrug off damage from claws, fangs, fire, and electricity. Okay. Um... Uh, probably need to get these up a little bit more, but it's fine. We'll just leave it as for right now and um, add things as I need them because that seems to be working out okay. I've been taking your amazing advice in the comments uh, when I can, but sometimes I just got to hold off just in case. All right, well, let's head to my apartment. I want to check my email and then I want to check in with my regent again and he'll probably no doubt tell me nothing. And then I want to go down to Hollywood and check in with 
Gary and the Nosferatu gang. Maybe Barabbas is there. Maybe I can check in with Mitnick post doing all of his quests. So, yeah, that, that's the plan right now. But let's talk to our regent fellow here. Uh, 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 there we go. Hello, Neo. Of course. What is it? Hmm. No more than yourself. Okay. I do not. I will say. I'm out of here. Nothing new. I, don't, I, I probably need to stop checking in with him. I keep hoping there'll be something new, and there never is. Ah, seriously. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Up to our apartment we go. See how Heather is doing. Hi, Heather. Master. Okay. Return later. Let's do my email and then we'll check the news again. Ooh, two new emails. Next. 13. The Muse is Muse. From Vivi. Oh, I do hope the nights have been kind. You were on my mind tonight, and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dread hearts are not always broken. Plan to kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Do you love it? Not really. <laughs> the campaign from a friend. The success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Okay. Well, let's say real quick, and then I'm going to turn the TV, and hopefully there's something new this time. Mobs of villagers in New Delhi, India, stoned a policeman to death after mistaking him for the Deer Man, a creature locals say has terrorized them for weeks and is thought to be responsible for the mysterious deaths of several village children. The Deer Man is reported as a seven-foot creature with horns that ambushes villagers at night. New Delhi has also been host to the Monkey Man, the Bear Man, and the Killer UFOs, all of which were later dismissed as mass hysteria. A shootout at a popular Chinatown underground club tonight left several dead and wounded after shots were exchanged between a local gang and an unidentified assailant. The club, Glaze, was a known hangout for one of Chinatown's largest street gangs, but was also a popular hangout for local club kids. One witness stated that the lone assailant acted like, quote, something out of an action movie. I couldn't believe one person could do that, end quote. Police suspect a rival gang may be behind tonight's violence. The story of the Incarn sarcophagus took an even more bizarre turn when Professor Anders Johansson went missing from his hotel room earlier today. Evidence of a struggle in the professor's room at the Empire Hotel indicate to investigators that Johansson was abducted. Johansson's family has received no demands yet, and there is speculation that his disappearance and the earlier theft of the Incarn sarcophagus are related. Police officials have gone on record as saying it's too early to confirm or deny any possibilities regarding this case. All right, well, we're on our loop. So one new, like, miscellaneous news story and then a couple related to my actions, which is very interesting. So I'm going to head back to Hollywood, like I said. I think we'll stop first at Isaac and then go down to the Nosferatu to check in with all of them. So I am going to head there and meet you once I have arrived. Well, actually, here we are at the Asian Theater in Hollywood. I did go and try and check in with Isaac, but he had nothing new to say. And the reason I'm crouched is because I decided to fire my gun when I got into Hollywood. So the, the cops are looking for me. But the reason we're at the Asian Theater is that one of you kindly mentioned to me that the tape Gary is looking for can be found here. It's very... Uh, spooky looking. So let's see if we can find this tap hotel tape. And then we can get that turned in. I'm not sure where I was supposed to turn it in at, but let's see. Hopefully not too late in the game to take care of it, but you never know. That's odd. happens when I've got no sparklies. I don't know where to go. <laughs> is this a door? Oh, this is a door. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a whole actual... Duh, it's the Asian theater dummy. That makes a whole lot more sense now. I didn't even go in here. 
I imagine we'll be back here somewhere, right? No. Oh, I see sparkly. Here we go, videotape, wonderful. I forgot what I was supposed to go do with that, but I probably have to put it in my mailbox downtown, I imagine. But before we worry about that, let's make my way over to the Nosferatu Enclave and check in with all of them. So I will meet you there when I get closer. And here we are at the Nosferatu Enclave. So let's see if I can find Gary. How, do I t how would I talk to Gary if I wanted to talk to Gary? Like, hello, Gary. Where, where are you? Gravity. Huh. Like, how would I talk to him? Because he said I could talk to him and answer questions and chit-chat with him. But I feel like... That wasn't true. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to fall into the water <laughs> like we did last time. Oh, we made it. Made it past the scary water. Ooh, what's this? Gall jump. Potency duration, fortitude duration, obscuvute, presence, protein, aspect duration. What? What? <laughs> Holding this rough-hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You are able to hold the effect of most passive disciplines longer as you possess gold gem. Their duration are increased by 25%. Wow. That's a cool thing. Has it been in here this whole time? And I just didn't notice it. Hi, Amalia. It's Amalia, right? Hey. What's up, Amalia? You got a few minutes to talk? Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> no one in there. And this is nobody. I gotta say, I'm really kind of disappointed in my follow-ups because they just haven't been available. Like, am I going back out? Like, Mitnick isn't even here anymore. Hmm. Well, that's extremely disappointing. Nothing there. Just double check everywhere. Nothing here. Because Mitnick was here. And no one's there. And this is Amalia. I thought like Barabbas would be here. can't even find Gary to talk to and he said to come back and talk to me so I'm um, gotta say I'm a little miffed but we'll try one more time looking around Gary's room oh. is there anything to interact with clock skeleton Tables, nothing. I got nothing. Well, I suppose I can head to Chinatown and try and check in with Ming Zhao and see if she has anything new to say. But at this rate, I'm not holding my breath. But anyway, we'll go do that and I'll meet you there. Oh gosh, I'll, I'll meet you there when, once I get closer. And we're back in Chinatown. I had to take a pit stop at Sang's to buy some more ammo just to get myself topped off. But let's go in and see if Ming Zhang, Ming Zhao has anything to say. I, I, with knowing my luck lately, it, she won't, but it, it could happen, right? <laughs> there she, she is here at least. Was there something else, Kindred? Yes. Um, that's, uh, I ran into some of your agents now. And they're dead. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. A most unfortunate crossing of paths. 
They said something about an alliance between the Kuei Jin and LaCroix. Let me assure you that my agents, the Chang brothers, speak with no diplomatic authority. Okay. But you do. Are you cons conspiring? I don't know if conspiring is the right word, but it might be. Are you conspiring with LaCroix or not? I may or may not choose to speak with you, the Prince, or anyone else for that matter. Speaking does not make us allies. Okay. What can I help you with? More questions... There is much. Hmm, humans... Okay, I... I think that's it. Well, at least I had a slight update from her. But anyway, let's head out of here and get to our taxi, because I think the only thing I have left to do... Oh, no, wait, we can go downtown and turn in this tape for Gary, right? So let's go down there and do that. Well, here we are back at my Haven, and I did double check my email, and it does say to put the tape into my mailbox. So I'm going to leave and then come back, and then maybe I will get whatever it is I'm supposed to get. I think one of you said it was a poster or something like that. So let's try my little workaround. Okay, it's gone. So in theory, I should have... Oh, I do. Huh. Okay. Any more new emails? Yes. Uh, cheeked codes. Enjoying the film, boss, but I think I've really let myself go over the years. All right. There... This seems to be your bag, so here's the deal. Know that Toreador and Vesuvius, Miss Valora, back when she was breathing, it was more like Miss Anything for 300. Ooh. And I got a poster. We'll trade for a revealing photo I saw on Haunted LA. Oh, oh, I have that. I have that already. I know what he's talking about. Um, this one. This is the blurry photo of what looks to be a Nosferatu, and I found that in the haunted LA guy's apartment. So again, we'll leave and then we'll come back and then we should get a poster of Vivi. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say, I need a p the picture of, of Vivi and I'd be like, man, I just sold that link. The last video. Okay, let's see. Oh, there she is. Okay, interesting. Email. Do I have more? I do. Want to learn vicissitude? Hey, how you been, boss? Same drill as before. Got a surveillance shot off a certain Koi Jin. It would be, it would be degrading to Photoshop it into a tacky poster, so that's what I did. <laughs> Yours for a song, actually a tape. Something Amalia did before I put the bite on her. I like to keep the kids in check. Last year's jock, jock shop magazine swimsuit shoot. Too hard and pointy reasons they pulled it off retail shelves. So a magazine. I don't have that. So I'll have to think about that one for a little bit. But anyway, so I think the next thing we're going to do for real this time is do that Society of Leopold thing. Um, let me pull up the quest when I get outside. Oh gosh, don't crash. Okay, we didn't crash. <laughs> we just saved. So we need to go to the Society of Leopold. It's like some monastery up in Malibu. It's so random. <laughs> but I think that's what we'll start at least today and then on Saturday we'll finish it. Sorry, I keep forgetting my days of the week. <laughs> Hop in. So we want, oh, Society of Leopold all the way out here. What is Malibu, dummy? <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm not full blood again. Oh, well, they're human, right? <laughs> I can feed off of them. Let me get out my good gun. Although I still need to go buy the other gun from Sing, I think it was. I know you guys have been recommending it, um, but I, I haven't done that yet. And I, I probably need to relatively soon. Different music right now. 
kind of like it. What is going on? Alright, there's the house. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Should I kill them? Should I not kill them? Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's not, let's, let's try to sneak around them. Or at least attempt to maybe. That's what I just said though, I think. <laughs> oh, crap. That was. Try this new gun out. The stair og. Let's try it. Ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> I like it's a fun gun. Oh. I feel like there's other guys. Ah, here you are. There we go, now I can eat. Hold still, please. Thank you. Nope, I like my other gun better. It actually hits people. somebody so kind of right <laughs> all right well that was fun <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely able to take a lot more damage which is nice and I'm fully aware I'm not living up to the <laughs> the blood the blood ma blood vampire mage of your dreams but I'm okay with it right now it's first playthrough I'm not gonna be good at it on the on the get-go all right so I saved let's uh, go inside just a little bit just a little bit farther <laughs> Brother Grenfeld seems particularly uneasy this evening. Yes, LaCroix has begun to move more openly, and Brother Grenfeld grows impatient. Ah, yes, LaCroix. As always, Brother Grenfeld focuses only on his old nemesis. Let us hope his fanaticism best serves the interests of our order, and not merely his own unresolved grievances. Shh, are you mad? 
Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. Far be it from me to question the edict of the Holy See. You would do best to remember your place. Brother Grunfeld is a faithful warrior. He has battled Satan's spawn for longer than you've been alive. Then I pray the Lord grant me the same years to fight in his army. Amen. Um... First of all, this guy keeps walking in laser beams. Ow, 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 ow. Fine, I'll just eat you then. <laughs> But yeah, they didn't notice me <laughs> at all. Oh, wait, that's a. Uh... I'm not close to the purple brush. Target's not in radius. Okay, well then, well, let's try. On, stick your head out. Stick your head out. Come on. I won't hurt you, I promise. Got him. Hmm. What is this all about? Ooh. Well, uh, I want to keep going, but I think this is probably as good a spot as I'm going to get to end things for today. So on Saturday, we'll pick back up here. We'll clean out the Society of Leopold, probably, because, um, yeah, I feel like that's just going to be my thing right now. And, and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines video.